I'm surrounded by John Deere's. This is the West New Yorker. Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at some of the tractors that were up at the uh, recent 2023 John Deere Expo in Canandaigua, New York, held at the Steamers Grounds, better known as the New York Steam Engines Association Incorporated's headquarters. And uh, thanks for stopping by, and let's take a look at some of these tractors. <laughs> This is a belt driven mill that they grind the feed with. They grind the feed, then they fill the bag. There was all sorts of activity up there, uh, including a parade, which I'll show in a minute. But before we get to that, I'll show uh, some pictures from the 2019 John Deere Expo. There's always a good show there. They had all sorts of things. They had uh, these tractors with various loaders on them. Uh, they had this nice little M that had this buck rake on it. Very nice. They had all sorts of things, and John Deere didn't just make tractors. Here's a pump. Uh, there's some manure spreaders. They made stationary engines. Uh, they made chainsaws, and they had a nice display back then of chainsaws, bicycles. I'm not sure if they made the bicycles or if they had them manufactured in their name on them. But John Deere had all sorts of things, including these uh, items that were made by the Syracuse chilled plow company which was later bought by john deere there was a car company called veely which was started by one of john deere's um grandchildren and coming up here you'll see right there's the veely car and uh that was a pretty neat display that they had as well coming up is this year's 2023 john deere parade You'll see all sorts of neat tractors. Enjoy the show, and if you stay till the end, you'll see an interesting garden tractor. Thank you very much for watching. John Deere has one just like it at home, only three serial numbers apart. 1947. Owned by Joe Tom Gangle. All right, thank you for bringing me up back. Here comes another one of the one ten. Thank you. Uh -oh. you do it again? My name is 
Ali, this is my daughter. Hi, my name is Alice. We're driving a 1957 uh, 420 uh, industrial. They made 166 this year, and then they made them an 89 or 58. They made 89 of those. All right, thank you for bringing it. Uh, this one is the orchard coming up. It'll be yellow. Uh, 
know, they were primarily fruit at the time when they bought it. It was uh, dairy, but now they're mainly dairy and no more fruit with about 1,300 milking cows. Thank you for bringing here we got the 1952 uh, FC crawler owned by Art Mellows out of Culpeper, Virginia. Thank you. I know these came up out of Virginia, guys. Yeah, I'm Brian Fellows, and I've got Mazda Tractor, 1949 MP. And Dad, you're supposed to be up here doing this. Would you like me to take the mic to him instead? Okay, we got a 630 coming. Welcome to Expo. My name is John Yurk, LBDR. Born in uh, Western New York, Goose Owner Club. I'm an 1860 630. Thank you. Thank you for bringing it over. We have a little 420 here. Uh, this is a 1956 420 that was modified by the village of Paul in New York to plow the sidewalks. Uh, Blake and his grandmother, Karen, are driving it. Thanks for coming. It's nice to see these still original looking. Here comes another B. I took this tractor and it took 
our pog staff and eat last summer for the 100th year anniversary pog day for the D's. We hit three D's, 53 D's in one field plowing. Imagine that. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for bringing it, Joe. We have a little bit of an unusual one down here. Good morning. My name is Dominic Glitch from EC Screenville, Pennsylvania. This is a 1964 John Deere 110 with a Brindley plow, and on the front we have a Model 10 uh, Johnson workhorse loader. It's a pretty neat little unit, and I don't want to miss out to say thank you to the Expo Association for doing a great job, putting a great show on. Thank you. Guys, to do this. Remember, I have is 36A. Duty. Here's a 1953 John Deere 60 with a set of half tracks on. Thank you. For bringing it, it's been a help for us. Right here we have a line B, like from B, I should say. Good morning, 1937 John Deere AW factory with round spokes, originally shipped to uh, San Francisco and then wound up at the Sacramento branch and cultivated its entire life. And they made 303 of them. Thank you for bringing it. Here comes the 8.30. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.